I fell in that hole. <laughs> the one that saved Akira, Kechi, and Kasumi from the danger of Garika and Jerry's rampage and killing those mascots and things in the streets of Kingdom of the Metaverse. Bleed out blood, explode paint colors? That's messed up. And these other, like, religionaire spray gun paint and the spray can giants. Let's get We're in a sewer right now? What's going on here? Huh. Well, someone did save them. Must be the same person to call out to them. But who was the day to change the heart of the band of thieves? Garrick, huh? The one that's crawling the graffiti in the area? We'll soon find out. Welcome back to CD Gaming to Persona 5 Tactica. We'll continue out the DLC for the whole thing that's going on. We're both over here. Looks like yeah, everyone's alright for the ride. fall. On the bright side, we're not about to be killed anymore. Our broke our necks to be paralyzed. Where do you think we are? It's so dark in here. Looks like none of you were hurt. Some real lucky kids. Huh? The voice. You're the one who saved the a mascot. But wait, this one's different. It's a girl. A mouse girl? No, a girl dressed like a mascot? So cute. Mascot of a mouse. <laughs> that is kind of adorable. And we'll get to that. How about a thank you first? Considering I just saved your team. Uh, thanks, I Does guess. That mean the hole we fell in. That you could do you? that? So you got dumped here. Well, I explained what much of a mouse sneaks in for holes in the sewer oh, no, or a rat. Not at all. We're extremely grateful. Well, as long as you're fine. I ought to ask. Just who are you guys? How do you not know this place yet? The streets are Garnica's territory. Nobody winds up here on accident. Not only that, you were able to square up with Garnica. I've he never was trying seen to kill us. Pull it off. We had to defend ourselves. Sounds as if you've been watching us for some time now. I sure have. <laughs> I never even noticed. Well, you'd better wise up. Almost. Or you're not going to survive the streets. <laughs> I know it, Have you kid. been by yourself here this whole time? I can't let Garnica keep slaughtering us. Even if no one can help me. Although, honestly, there's not much I can do alone. So what happened to the other mascots? I can imagine. Can actually fight. Except, I don't know whose side you're on. So don't make me regret saving you. Understood. They still hurt us. Well, at the very least, we're not your enemy. That's right. Although, I guess we have no way to prove that. Nah, nah. I was just messing with you. Shit. I saw you standing up to Garnica. She's trustworthy. We may not have all the details, but I think I get the gist. If you wouldn't mind, I have some questions of my own now. Please. First off, I'd like you to tell us all you know about this world. Am I right that Garnica is somehow involved in its existence? Yes, you are. The streets belong Has to Garnica. Cassie is still on top of things as a detective. from her heart. Sorry. Seriously now, who are you guys? You're not just on the ball. You know too much. You talk like you're already used to places like this. Um, Been well, there, done that, so we... far. <laughs> uh, we're sort of ex experts on this. Yeah, we're used to this sort of thing. <laughs> used to this? By any chance, are you the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Let it only oh, seem break you know? of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Oh, good. My voice really did reach outside. I was worried this place was doomed. Your voice? Please come with me. So is you. There's something you need to see. Hold on. I still have quite a few questions. That's why I want you to see this. I think it would help explain things better. Got it. I'll take your word for it. She would attack us by now, so she's not the enemy. I believe you. I don't know. Something in your eyes. It says so. You wouldn't be afraid to hold anything back on us, either. Boop. 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 Always go with the best before you get the next. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Alright, for set of upgrades, let's find out. Whatever comes to mind, make sure you have something for something. It doesn't matter what you add at this time, so it's okay. People. 
Kasumi Yoshizawa, a first year student at Shujin Academy and Persona user who allies herself with Joker. She doesn't formally join the Fan of Thieves for reasons of her own, but her power is genuine as a gifted Remnant gymnastic. From the, her middle school years, she has a slender frame but can wolf down granite gun launches that leave many of in disbelief. Gorokechi, a high schooler harlot as the next detective prince, Konenkra, eventually opposed to the fan of thieves but later joined the cause. Many have been charmed by his easygoing, affable de demeanor and Denerable looks. He instantly is the inducive insight earn him the respect of both the police department and the prosecutor's office. Damn, dude. Time to write. Make sure you stay. Of course. All right, let's talk. What is this world? What can I say? I have to say the title somehow, right? Is something wrong? Yoshizawa. She's always on. You look for that down. Feeling one well? <laughs> oh, no, it's not anything like that. I, it's just, I know it's too late to, to do any good, but I guess I feel responsible for what happened to you guys. You do? I keep thinking, if I haven't asked Kuroso Senpai to come see the Admiral. Don't worry about it. Thank you it. very much. You really are so nice, Senpai. Thank you so much. Mm. Well, whatever circumstances may have brought him here, I suspect that the was bound to wind up here for one reason or another. After all, his persona was the one spited in the moral. Yeah, Arsene. Who even painted that, by the way? And how they find out what Senpai's persona looks like? There is no way for us to determine if his persona came to be known yet. But... However, we can at least summar summarize the, the identity of the culprit. Garika, right? Right. Unsurprising that you picked up on that. Garika, she's the one who's the one with the mask, right? But... but why did she bring us here? Just what could her goal be? I don't believe so. You think we're, sim we're simply chosen at random? Hmm. Could that really be Erekid? As I said, I find the idea that our sin just happened to be incorporated into a stranger's world to be too far behind coincidence. But still, it didn't seem like Garaka knew who we were, right? That's right. That is true. If we take that, de that detail into consideration, it's possible that whoever brought us here wasn't Garika, someone else. Do you mean that girl in the mouse costume? Yes. Yes, yes unlike Garika and the pink bird, she seems aware of the fantasies. Although, we don't have nearly enough evidence to say anything for certain right now, but the best we can do is speculate. Mm -hmm. Let's gather some intelligence. Right, that's our only option at this well, point. Shall Let's we see what the mouse girl has to say about all this. Okay. Did I earn a little points here and there? Cool. I'm surprised we can earn a little bit more in this one. <laughs> We're just gathering our own stuff in our little hideout. Alright, let's do this. Discuss this, discuss that, I'm aware. Let me open another manhole. It'll be just on the other side. That's her ability? Pretty cool of you! Oh, she spray paint. This way. Come on. It's like a witchcraft. Again? Eh, you'll get used to it. There's the artwork again. Whoa! Right here. This is what I wanted to show you. Damn. The mural. It's similar to the one we saw in Young and Jaya, too. Hmm. She's our son. It's more clear. So I got this feeling back in Yungin Jaya. Both that mural and this one make me feel sort of ill. More no, disturbing. That's not right. It's more like it's stirring up something bad inside me. 
just take deep breaths. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Why? But Not your fault. I find it hard to think this is just some normal artwork. It almost feels like it would consume me if I let it. Sounds like you're picking up on it. Yernika's true power. You know the awful, ugly feelings that can bubble up in the deepest parts of your soul. Yernika's art has the power to force those feelings to the surface and make them take over the entire mind. The overwhelming reaction doesn't only affect the viewers either. Well, I can't they go just on get to spread their own like seeds of destruction. Too. By the time it's over, they're all dead. Hold on. Your description sounds awfully different from the Guernica I've heard of so far. What do you know about her, Akechi san? How so? Well, I know she's a street artist who's become world famous by this point. A street artist? But, but oh, doing graffiti in the street is still legal, but. Doesn't she artistic work anonymously? Work, but it wasn't disturbing. Yes. But the greater mystery is how she manifests like her art in what seems to be a new story. moment. Even cartoons. If I remember correctly, she's also broken quite a number of laws to put up her murals. Certainly. Mm. Regardless of her artistic merit, Yannicka has a great number of detractors. Especially since her artistic philosophy is what's guiding her to her It sense. must mean something as a message. Her that rage is Yannicka's primary driving force. The underprivileged members of society toil under poverty and discrimination. Supposedly, Guernica's works are an expression of her rage. Which is why she's willing to do whatever it takes to vent her anger. Grr. That's why she's continued to gain support for her principles. Some people even refer to her by a nickname. The People's Pump, they call her. I didn't realize she was huh. such a big what deal. What an odd nickname but... of the saying of this yes. Guernica person. The Guernica we met here is wholly different. Just a trigger-happy psychopath. If you're telling us that this is her cognitive world, that would mean the real character is. No, that's all wrong. She's trapped. Her personality changed when she lost the most important thing to her. So that's something must have changed her to this what world was most important to her. Anger, chaos. The first statement she ever painted. Maybe somehow somebody stole some her. entity. If this metaphor is like how you try saw her. and consume her. Please help me. You have to steal Garnica's first statement back. Must Hold be on. created somehow from people's hate towards it's true, this. True, this isn't the first time thing. we've been to a world like this. Must be it. But I've never heard of a ruler going completely mad because they lost their treasure. Besides, we're only here because some inexplicable force pulled us into this world. We well, yeah, no believe choice. I understand your situation. I'm afraid we don't have enough information to make any decisions. <laughs> Consider what you said earlier. You told us you didn't know whose side we're on. Well, well, we're in the same boat. Mm. I'll cut to the chase. Are you the one who brought us here? All right. I'll explain everything. There you go. The one who brought you to the streets was Guernica herself. Oh. More precisely, it was one of the last things she did before she finally snapped. Guernica has always been a fan of the Phantom So Thieves. she did In call fact, for help before she the lost ship that she felt. Oh, okay. something made her lose You know, I can see why that's the case. Harry? She's been fighting that against Harry? herself this entire time. Probably. On the inside. It took everything she had to paint that mural in your world. Her last cry of desperation was to you, Phantom Thieves. Makes sense. So she wants the Phantom Thieves to help her get back to normal. Change her yeah. heart. She's not only trying to save herself. Her it is Jerry. If Guernica fully gives in to the madness, she'll most likely begin producing her deadly art in your own world. Uh, oh no! And that can kill her. Kill really kill her. Even in our reality, is something like that even possible? Everyone's hearts are connected. Guernica has the power to take the very image of death. And, well, this isn't something I can explain logically. But I'm telling you, she can do it. Sorry I can't put it in words. Hmm. If only we were able to confirm or deny that this is just some boy. When it comes to trust, that's more your area of specialty. Care to weigh in for us? Let's trust her. That's certainly. <laughs> well, I suppose I have no cause for objection. Jealousy and all that. You guys are lucky to have and you. And I partner. agree too. Even so the temporary troops of fan of these days. You're really going to help me. Thank you. 
I'm so glad. Don't mention it. Phantom thieves really are as good as Garnica believes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go and get Garnica's first statement piece. Statement piece? Yeah. First one? Oh, uh, but first, could you tell us your name? While we're at it, I'd definitely appreciate it if you could tell us more about yourself as well. Oh, I didn't introduce myself? My bad. I'm Luca. Hi, this Luca. My identity. That's a nice name you All have. All you really need to know is this. I'm so trying to help, help Garnica. Yeah. Oh, all right then. That works for me. <laughs> well, shall we get going? Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. Garnica's statement piece was broken up into three slabs. So we're going to have to track down all three. Three of them? Sounds like we've got our work cut out. Seven. Come on. This will be a cinch for the So yeah, you get three of them to put them back in hole one of the artwork. I'm opening the manhole. Well, they're all surrounded in the streets here in this kingdom? This is stupid. In that case, let's see where we can go! Super Mario Star Pipe Crew! Wee! <laughs> Don't we wish. The graffiti's just past here. But the security's gotten a lot tighter. Yeah, I guess they... Considering how we've crashed their scene. Such measures are only prudent. Return the slab. But still, or, what do we do? my curse. What's your offer? Let's push our way through. Hold on now. Those numbers? They might be a little much for us. Okay, Let's okay. Maybe I jumped the gun. Effort. We should avoid as many fights as we can beforehand. Although I like your plan, Joker. Let's just still be careful. It's okay if you want to think that way, but maybe a little bit, not too much. Reach the target. Sorry. Don't be... <laughs> Alright, reach the Let's target. Let's do it. Here comes the good music. Alright, there it is. Joker. Let's avoid combat here as much as possible, Joker. Joker? Sound good. That's his codename. We call each other my codenames when we're in these time. I go fly crow. Oh, cool. That's all I got to use the... So then... Hey, let's go... Let's go... Let's get to it, Joker. Alright. Oh, yeah. You can just call her by her own name, but she's more of a violet. You don't have to worry about sentimental things. Oh. Yeah. I really thought it was going to be a turn. Everyone this way. Take them down. All right. Gotta charge the charge here. That's still available. Uh, what to do? Here I go. Stay safe. Alright. Oh, 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 Wait for you to do that! Oh yeah, you wanna see a Robin Hood? No problem, though! Booooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Get moving. Take that! Good shot! Keep it up, Joker! Fire! Good shot! Right, Keep it up, so Joker! Uh -huh. I hope you're ready. Make a pathway where you need to go and then use it wisely. Where is our destination? Go over there. Alright, then. I'll just, uh. No, wait, I got an idea. Attack with an attack! Oh, this is gonna smell. <laughs> next. One thing at a time. We're in a back alley. There it is! Look! I found it! Up there! On top of the trash heap! Good eye, Luca! I see any guards. Now's our chance to take it. Fury! I should believe not, Luca. Crap. Why, you smug little bird brain bitch! I'm sick ha. of you ruining everything! Oh, well, Luca, you're Mouth tough. Does ever I like that. You. Clearly, you weren't raised right. Pardon me, but would you mind letting us by? We're just here to pick up some of the trash behind you. Well, if it isn't the boy from outside, quite an interesting turn of events, your E.D. Luca. But why exactly you behind when the man doesn't consume you? If you're looking for a way home, I could help you with that right now. Wait, don't believe anything she says. You can trust the devil before you trust her. Come now, don't speak such slander. This is just another one of your little schemes, like how you tricked Guernica. How many times must I tell you? All I've ever done is respect Guernica's wishes. What? The current state of the streets is entirely of her own doing. It's a lie! Guernica would never want things to be like this! Oh, you're quite the handful. Excuse me, mop-headed boy. Would you be a dear and Aka? hand Luca over to me? If you do, I'll send you all back to your own world. A rather You're gonna kill her, aren't you? Don't you agree? Yeah, you're not only compared to Maruga from Yu Hakusho to Suzaku's annoying fur assistant. No way. Hmm. You're thicker than I thought. I can trust who's you good and who's not. You seem to have misunderstood our goal here. 
to stop. I draw the line when it comes to hurting animals and kids. Attempts at manipulation. Stupid thing. You're not even a real bird. You to Trust me. By but was an animal like bird who's friendlier than compared to you who are not being real? I saved them before I take you in. Look, you were not the type of pet bird I want. Whoa! This guy Neo color. chases me off. I can see how. I, yeah, you wouldn't stand a chance against him. No offense. No avoiding this one. We'd better get ready. Let's go! You play hard to get stupid stupid to beat the man slammer. They come up with a better name. Oh, whatever. I'll take a look at that. Switch around time! Okay. Objects to give ourselves the upper hand. Here I go. 
Well done, so good. We won't get you there. Good one. Should be safe now. Persona! Well Take done, it We won't get you there. Ah! What happened, guys? Now, let's dance. The drapes won't work on him. I hate to say it, too. That's our only option! I know, and believe me, I don't want this to hurry either. Don't let it like that. What to do here? My turn! Proof Seeker! Check this out. Robin Hood seeks the proof! Shoot an arrow! Against these numbers. Guys, oh, we're oh, running out of time, but not like this. Lucas on. I got everything ready. She's got it. Let's grab that slab and bounce. She's losing a manhole to steal it. No, stop them at once. Here it comes. Now. Make us, you dumb bird freak bitch. How many times will we be doing this? A lot. I'm at a moral thing of oh, the RP safe. We're going back to sewers. You can't find us now. The whole is disappearing. Is everyone all right? Yeah. I believe so. Quite the Where you go, Luca? We were able to get part of Garnica's first piece. Thank you. That leaves two we'll more. Need two more to go. If we keep this up, we'll be well, done in this no art time. Well, must be valuable yeah. to Garnica's in order I, to help her I'm get even her more grateful back for something together. Else. What's that? Huh? For having my back. And not just handing me over to Jerry. The smug parents' proposition simply carried far. As I said, I know she's not an animal. Not only that, she's an entity crossing in some the one type of metaphor. Well with me or the other. Streets they call it, right? You're a stand-up guy, aren't you? <laughs> Jerry thought you were some heartless, hyper-rational bastard. Well, uh, well, I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. By the way, just who yeah. is that Jerry, anyhow? Uh, Honestly, check out my gameplay of the Persona 5 Royal. Everyone here is supposed to be uh -huh. born from some part of Guernica's heart. But I can't imagine any part of her being so cruel. I know Guernica wasn't stuck in the middle of a trap. That's the one thing I'm sure of. Jerry mentioned something about fulfilling Guernica's wishes. Looks like you're wishes. getting this one clues Obviously up. You're another girl. Guernica's a good person. She'd never do that to people on her own. Okay. We'll trust you when it comes to the real Guernica. Yeah. We should focus on getting the other two slabs for Luca, right? Slabs indeed. Oh, thank you. You're a good person. It's like too. a pyramid. Could already tell you're kind of ruins of artifacts. Now I like slabs. you even more. Oh, this is artwork. <laughs> thank you. Let's uh, do our best out there. <laughs> Yoshizawa sauce. Never the popular one. Getting jealous? That's quite an amusing joke. <laughs> All right, time to go track down the second piece. Come on, guys. We can do this. I'll be stuck here for a bit. We'll make it. Oh, by the way, while you were fighting for the slab, I found these things. I have no idea how to use them, so they're all yours. You acquired some weapons, and the three of them each can now be equipped. Well, that's so cool. See what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, pretty neat, huh? How nice of what Lucas doing for us. The more skills, the better. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Let's level up the HP and the SP to finish these. Oh crap. Well, almost finished these up, boys. We'll be back for the other ones in a bit of no time. That's okay. I'll get the other ones later. No harm. I promise. No problem whatsoever. Garitha, a world renowned yet anonymous street artist. Her yara is a deep representative for poverty and desecration, which she expressed through her art. She was driven to carnage by the thief of her heart's core, prompting her to go on killing sprees in the metaverse. Luca, a young girl in a mouse costume who Joker Kasumi and act Catchy me in the metaverse. She has been fighting to put a stop to Garika's rampage and seems to grasp the unusual phenomena of the metaverse. She's also aware of the Phantom Bees even pleading for their help when she runs them, it runs into them in the metaverse. Scary, I ain't it. Tell me about it. I should write that down. Alright, first we'll save here to a few of this, um, talk dialogue here, and we'll call it quits. Kasumi's agility. Two of them, huh? Okay, and then we'll stop for now. What's this? Hey, by the way, I'm really surprised you made a leader so well in fighting. It's amazing. Huh? huh? Do you need oh. me? Yeah, it's like you got... Wings or something, the fantasies are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for the compliment. But to be honest, there's still a lot for me to learn, and to be totally er accurate, I'm not actually a fan of bees. Really? Yes. And if we're to be talk to, talking about mapping the battlefield, well, of my senpai here are even more impressive. Yeah, those guys are pretty cool, aren't ya? Say, how are you so good when you're you're so scrawny? What? <laughs> scrawny? Ah, uh, even though they look like that, I know they train plenty. Actually, do you have any special workout routine, Senpai? Oh yeah, I work out in the attic. <laughs> attic? Why there? Oh, that's because his room is actually an attic. Working out alone in your own room, so exotic. <laughs> but in an attic? I sure didn't expect that. But you sound pretty mouse-like yourself. How about you, Akechi? Do you work out at all? That's right. Well, if you're asking, yes, i become a fan of bouldering recently. I didn't know you did that, Akechi-san. What now? Bouldering. It's free climbing sport where you accept to ascend walls and fort or borders. It's not just about clawing your way up, though. You have to keep your wits about you and maintain awareness of your body. So you get to work on your muscles, your flexibility, and your cardio all at once. Sounds like great exercise. I'm pretty good at climbing up weight. Way up high, but I never try bowling or whatever it's called. How is that? If we have time, I could give you all the crash course if you are interested as well. That is, I love to learn more. Oh? oh, I must say, I didn't expect such an openly enthusiastic response. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean anything at by that. Of course, I'll be happy to teach you all about it. Please. Please allow, also allow me to join in. I love it, the chance to try it out. You guys really want to just climb all over some walls? That's pretty funny when you imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> you folks are a pretty interesting bunch. Thanks for sharing with me. <laughs> uh, just glad we, are, we were able to have this chat. How about this, Luke-san? Let's train together sometime soon. What? Together? Well, I wonder if I can handle that. But once we help out Agarica, I think that could be fun. Let's go! Of course! Well, it'll be fun! Uh, let's get let's go help Garica. Joker's persona in public art. I like reading tests! <laughs> Alright. 
Sorry, one more here. Um... By the way, I was thinking about the moral fact again, the one that brought us here. So it's not like did Garak know what Kurosu Senpai's persona looks like? I have no clue. Mm. Persona should be known to anyone but within a beast, as far as I'm aware. If an outside agent is aware of our identities, I believe we should get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Lucasan, do you have any ideas? Huh? So, it's because Garrick has the ability to seek into the hearts of others. That would be... Speak, in... Speak into the hearts? Could you elaborate? You remember that graffiti that showed you, be... that showed you before? How can we forget that image? You know the awful ugly feeling that can ball up from deep inside, from deep down inside sometimes? Well, Garrick Art has the ability to push those feelings to, to the surface and make them take over people's minds entirely. Oh yeah, she did say that. It's not like she's inherently sens senses what the mass feels or anything. But she's just uh, uh, able to tap into those feelings and send them into overdrive. Still, her work makes it feel like she knows everything about humanity. Down to the deepest feelings in our hearts. That's how it is. So when did Garika start making these heart peakings heart peaking um, work exactly? Once Sherry showed up up before that, she didn't have any powers like that at all. Which means So that means the one who made this stuff possible is most likely Jerry, yes. However Of course we don't have any evidence proving this. I'm not quite solid to, on the idea that even possible in the first place. If I remember correctly, like you said the following. She's been fighting against herself the entire time on the inside. It took everything she had to paint the moral in her your world. Her last cry of desperation was to you, Fan of Thieves. Oh yeah, she said that as well. If she truly is able to look into the hearts of others, then it would be fabricated to consider that she could see into the heart of the leader of the Fan of Thieves. I see. Oh, I see. That's how she knows what Senpai's persona looks right. like. Well, I honestly had no idea what that pain was, so, oh, so you call that a persona? What is it exactly? It's another part of me. Another part of you? What? Like you can split yourself up or something? No, not like that, no. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can. All I know is our personas let us fight back. Oh, okay, yeah. They seem super strong. We despise Garika knowing his persona. She doesn't seem to have made an effort to publicly out of the fan of thieves. At this point, we need to personalize learning more about Garika's power as well as whatever Jer Jerry's object may yeah. be. Don't forget about the first Marl. Meryl, let's head out when, when you're ready for those other two coming up. Okay! This is gonna be something to hunt. Oops, crap. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Aw, oh, man. Um. Hmm. Alright, I got it, I got it. Sorry about that. Let's do what we can if you're ready for the next one. We hope you all too. Yay! Now we can have the rest of the right later. Alright guys, we'll end here for now. Until next time, we're going to see your fans out there. We're going to buy Tactical DLC. We're back for more to get two more of the artworks for Garrick's sake to save her, for Luca's sake. Let's go, Akira. Akachi Kasumi. See you next time. I like artwork, don't you?